my god, it's been so long and um, I'm slightly stressed, which is always a good start to the video, but let me see if I can still do this. I don't know. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ailey, and if you're not, then hello. It is good to see you again. I know, I know, it has been a long time. Well, not like a really long time. It's been about a month, like four weeks, something like that, maybe a little bit more. I honestly don't know what to tell you or why I have disappeared for a little bit. <laughs> Um, except to say that it's fine because I'm back now. Hopefully I'm back now. I did go through a massive just slump in life in general. Things were not great, like not great, but it's fine because I'm, I'm all good now. I'm better now. I'm back now, but I've fallen behind. I have fallen so far behind on my reading goals that I'm actually scared that I don't think I'm gonna do it. I don't, I, let me check my Goodreads. I haven't been on Goodreads in so long. I'm nine books behind schedule. Nine, look at that. Nine books behind. Oh, this is not gonna be good. So I have to read 10 books to be back on schedule. So this is why we're doing this video. I am going to be reading for the next 24 hours to try and get back on track. And you guys are coming with me. I feel like it's been so long, again, since I've done a 24 hour video. I really can't remember when the last one was, but I am finally back in my reading mood. I just wanna get through as many books as possible while also making sure that I'm focusing on my health. So I am going to be sleeping. I will be sleeping today. I'm not gonna be doing this straight because I actually want to try and see how many books I can read in 24 hours without stopping, without like foggy brain or anything. So I will be using a clock. And if I do stop, then the timer will be paused, but we will be reading for exactly 24 hours. I'm gonna see how many books I can get through. Hopefully, hopefully a few. I know my reading speed has obviously gone down because I haven't read for a month, but we're still gonna try. We are still going to try. On another note, I have already started reading Daughter of the Pirate King. I started this yesterday, actually, and I've just, I've been staring at this book for I don't know how long. I bought it maybe a week ago or something, and ever since I got it, I've just been looking at it. And I'm like, I really, really need to read this book. Just desperately need to read this book. So I picked it up yesterday evening, and I started reading it, and I can tell you I love it so far. I'm only on page 43, like I'm just on chapter four but I love it. It has already grabbed my attention. We are following the story of Aloza. Aloza? I think that's how you say her name. I don't know. I'm still not good with names, but we're following her story and she is the daughter of the pirate king and she is on a mission to find this map and in order for her to get this map, she's had to be abducted by the enemy and the first mate being Ridden. I think that's how you say his name. It's either Ryden or Ridden, but it's spelt Ridden. So I'm pretty, I mean, I'm assuming it's Ridden. If it's not, oops. I, I don't know, it's spelt that way, so I'm reading it that way. But yeah, we all know where this is going. It, it jumps straight, straight, I mean, like it jumps straight into the story, into the plot. It has not skipped a beat. We are still finding out information of why she's trying to get this map, but let's just say these two characters, chemistry is already flowing. I am already obsessed with him and also a little bit intrigued by him. I kind of left it on a little bit of a cliffhanger last night, so I am ready to jump back into it. But so far so good. It's not that long. It's only just over 300 pages, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna finish this in a few hours. But again, let's see, because it has been a while since I read a book. Enough said, let's start this timer. We're gonna start this clock. You ready? Are we ready? 
let's let's go. I need some music. god so we're three and a half hours in and um i've just got halfway god it's taking me so long to read but that's okay it's fine we're not we're not worried about it it's okay it's cool it's fine i'm on page 161 i'm like more than halfway through i'm not sure but so far i'm actually really liking this book it's such an easy read and definitely a good one coming out of a slump there's so much like not so much happening but there's a lot of i don't know how to like describe it just that i'm really enjoying it and i don't know i have my theories i have my little oh maybe maybe that but who knows who knows but so far i'm really enjoying it I want to try and finish it as quickly as I can because I just want to start another book. Like I'm in such a reading mood that I just want to just I want to go into another one. I want to read another one but I don't know what to read next and I shouldn't worry about that. Oh I might read something from my kindle next actually. That might be a good idea but so far enjoying it but yeah halfway chapter 12. The chapters aren't too long I think they're pretty good size and Actually, I think I like the length of this book as well. I am going to say it's a slow burn. It's an enemies to lovers. Obviously, pirates and, like, secret missions and other things. Oh, what? there's a one-bed trope as well, which I actually really like. And, yeah, it's just good. It's really, really... It's, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's probably not the best, like, book in the world, but it's... It's enjoyable at least. It's really, really enjoy. <laughs> it is no, it is really enjoyable. I'm enjoying it. Anyway, I'm gonna carry on. I'm gonna try and finish this in like two hours and then now I'll finish it and then start another book. Are you gonna stop this timer oh my god we've been reading for six and a half hours like how 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 has it been that long already i actually don't understand but i finished it it was cute it was good i'm actually gonna bring you up here um oh i don't know what i'm gonna rate it i think i'll give it four because it was still really enjoyable like it wasn't like amazing <laughs> it was still it was still really good like I would definitely recommend it probably to like to new readers I think um yeah I'm gonna give it four stars because it's got me out of my slump I still really enjoyed it it was so easy to read got right into it the story does continue on to the second book obviously we're gonna find out more then but I haven't got the second book I've only got the first one so I need to get the second one but I still really really enjoyed it such a good book so easy so easy to read I always love an easy book to read but that still took me so long why I don't actually understand why it took me so long anyway I generally I don't know what I'm in the mood for now I might have a look at my kindle so I'm not really in the mood for another fantasy but I really want to read Powerless. I'm going to come back to you once I start a new book. I think I might read something from my Kindle. Because I'll read it a little bit faster on my Kindle. I don't know. I'll have a look. Anyway. Cool. <laughs> <sighs> it is 
already got so late that I'm gonna go to bed now. But before I go to sleep, I've decided that I'm actually going to start reading Where's Molly by H.D. Colton. This is one of her newest books, but it is the author of the Cat and Mouse series. I know this book is a spin-off of the Cat and Mouse series, which is Haunted and Hunted Adeline. And it's not a ridiculously long book, but I'm very excited to read it. I'm probably gonna read like a couple of chapters before I go to sleep. So let's just dive into that. here okay so I may have done something a little bit stupid <sighs> and I knew I was going to do this I knew it was going to happen I left the timer running while I was asleep look I have not been reading for that long <sighs> but I did work out that I was asleep for eight hours so we need to read for eight hours to catch up with this time. It's so annoying. I knew I was going to do that. I knew it was getting to like half one in the morning and I was like, I'm going to forget about this timer and stop reading and just go to bed. And that's exactly what happened. That is exactly what I did. And I woke up and I was like, damn, but I've done a lot of reading so far. We are literally almost halfway already in this book and so far I'm absolutely enjoying it so 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 much I love my dark romances I love that it's also in the cat and mouse world obviously because it's a spin-off but there's always like little mentions of the characters especially the organization and I love it I'm still trying to place like the timings of things because in this book there's like a present and then we also flash back to the past as well. So it's just having to like pinpoint certain things. Obviously you've got characters popping up that were in the Haunting and Hunting Adeline books. Um, and surprisingly I'm remembering them, like the main ones I remember. And I'm trying to think if like Molly actually appeared somehow in the last book, the second book hunting Adeline I'm not sure I have a funny I have a funny feeling she did I'm not quite sure but so far actually absolutely loving it I'm 47% through it's saying I've got just under two hours left of my reading time so hopefully finish this soon so far absolutely loving it like the actual plot of this book is very interesting because it's kind of like a second chance romance they haven't seen each other in nine years and they bump into each other accidentally. And obviously there's a lot of unfinished business, let's just put it like that. So I'm really interested to continue to follow their story. I don't know a lot about how they first met, only that they do know each other and that something happened with them nine years ago. So yeah, again, this is a dark romance book. If you're gonna read Find, is it Finding Molly or Where's Molly? Where's Molly? Uh, read the trigger warnings because again this book is like Haunting and Hunting Adeline where you got some touchy subjects that is not for everybody so be careful with that but yeah so far absolutely loving it. I'm kind of like I don't know I don't have any theories obviously there's like talk about soulmate connection and like brief brief things about the past I don't know we follow her story from present to 14 years earlier so like that's a big gap a lot can happen in 14 years I don't know and this book isn't very long it's just over 200 pages I think I think yeah it's 221 pages long and I'm on page 103 so yeah let's also say it's not a slow burn obviously yeah, read trigger warnings and um, I'm intrigued. I don't think this book would be for everybody because I know Second Chance isn't really everyone's favourite, but 
so far I'm, I'm not hating it. But I do prefer when characters meet for the first time in books. Like, there's just something about that. And you're watching the characters grow. Where, like, second chance romance, they already know each other. And usually they already know a lot about each other. Because they've already, like, had something. So you're not really seeing that. But yeah, but there's a lot of secrets in this book. And that's what's got me interested. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Because I'm talking way too much now. And I'm going to carry on reading. And probably the next time I update, I would have finished the book. But we need to read for another five hours. And then... We can carry on with this timer. Cool. <laughs> Slow down, hold on tight now. It's okay to me. I finished it. Oh my god, that ending was good though. I like that ending. <gasps> There's an extended part of I'm gonna quickly read this because I didn't know that was best. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm excited. <laughs> oh my god, it's sad. The name's Meadows. Say Meadows. <laughs> well, my camera died on me, which was honestly great, but in the time that it has died, it's just been a bit, I've let it charge for a bit. I finished Where's Molly? And I loved it. I loved it. Do I love it as much as I loved Haunting and Hunting Adeline? No. But I still really enjoyed it. I loved the extra epilogue at the end where Addie and Zaid came into it. I loved it. It was really good. It was, it was actually really easy to follow as well. It didn't have a lot of dark features in it like Haunted and Hunted Adeline did but obviously it connects to that world like it's in the same world it's in the same universe so the same things were happening but obviously just from a different different point but I still really enjoyed it I gave it four stars in the end but now moving on I kind of want to read another paperback and I'm sort of stuck in between two if I can get them out Say You Swear and Powerless both of these books have been sitting on my TBR for so long. And I know that's my fault. That is completely my fault. But that's going to change today because I'm going to read one of these books. I'm, I don't really even know which one I'm more leaning towards though. Because they're both the same amount of thickness. I think Say You Swear is a little bit longer. So. <laughs> I'm still like, I don't know. Oh, okay, I know I'm adding more. Or I could read One Dark Window. This is another book that I was thinking about. To be honest, I'm kind of leaning towards one of these two now instead of this one. I'm not really feeling, I'm feeling a fantasy. Like definitely a fantasy, so I feel like I should read Powerless. I think I'm gonna read Powerless. I'm, I'm kind of scared though. I'm not kind of, I am scared because this book is so hyped up and so many people really enjoyed it that I really want to like it. And I'm a little bit scared, but I'm gonna read Powerless. We're gonna see how it goes. We're just gonna start it and see how it goes. But I'm actually going out tonight, so I'm gonna have to start it a little bit later tonight, but we're gonna read The Long Awaited Okay. We used to have each other's playlists No, no we used to be each other's best friends Yeah And now we go our separate pathways But your heart's still in mine Yeah and Maybe we could try it next week Again But I don't I like to think I am now all caught up with my time. I think. I don't actually, I don't really know. Because did I read for eight hours straight? No. My bad. But I did try. I believe I read 
where's Molly in four hours? And then I think it's taken me four hours to get where I am now because I have been reading this a lot slower than I thought, but I don't know if that's me just thinking I'm reading slower because I'm not actually like keeping a time, but I'm on page 151 and usually it takes me like an hour to read 50 pages. I don't know, but always like the first 100 pages of any book takes me a little bit longer. So I think I've caught up with my time, well no, I'm gonna say I have caught up with my time because I cannot keep reading and reading and reading and not having this time I ever complete. So we're moving past the whole eight hours, whatever it was, I'm gonna carry on now with this last nine hours. Hopefully in the last nine hours, I get to finish this book and hopefully start a new book. I don't think I'll be able to finish another book in the nine hours because this is like over 500 pages long and fantasies always take me a little bit longer to read and especially it's a fantasy that I enjoy. I can already say I'm enjoying this so much. I think it's so good. Like the two characters between this, Payden and Kai, I'm obsessed with them already. Like I want so many more scenes with both of them. Just their like conversations and everything is so entertaining and then just like little things that he does like he braided her hair let's take a moment for this a man braided a woman's hair without being asked <sighs> and just their banter just the way that they talk to each other about things and how like you're getting both of their povs so we are like in Kai's POV and Payden's POV. Basically, I think it's like pretty, pretty split. I think it is like even so far with who we're reading, but I currently love them both. Like the trials haven't even started. I, I, I'm pretty sure mostly every single person on this planet has already read this book and I'm really enjoying it. If you haven't read this book, then welcome to the club, because nor have I. And if you have read this book, then keep your mouth shut. I know this is from this is coming out like after I finish this book, but I'm literally just saying it now. Like I do not want any spoilers. I feel like I've already got enough little teasers and spoilers already. Like I know some of the stuff that has been said in this book, and I wish I didn't. Like I wish I didn't. I wish I. <laughs> anyway, I just had my little moment. Payden is what you call a ordinary. So we're in this world of Ilan, Iron, I, I, no, I, Ilian, Ilian, Ilian. I think that's what the place is called. I, I don't really know. Oh, huh, huh. I haven't really looked at the map. Anyway, oh, sorry, I think it's making a little bit more sense to me now. <laughs> so we're in this world and basically you've got two splits of people. You've got the ordinaries and the elite. There was basically this like big plague or something that happened, like this massive disease where it caused people to like gain these like abilities. And those people are now called elites. Not everyone got the abilities. So if you didn't get an ability, you were called an ordinary. Basically the elites have been mass murdering all of the ordinaries because they think they're a threat where actually it's more got to do with the king you know and so basically Payden is an ordinary who's hiding because obviously she doesn't want to be killed um so posing as an elite with this like psychic power anyway Kai is obviously an elite and he's also a prince he's the second born son and is like this murdering machine his pr practically his job is to kill all the ordinaries and now it doesn't help that Payden has been put into this trial of elites with Kai who can sense everyone's powers and know if they're elites or not so we kind of know what that's going to do anyway obviously they've got something going on and she's still being able to hide who she truly is but that's not gonna last for long I don't think it will but yeah, things have been interesting so far. And this trial is like the biggest thing in this world. And so everyone now knows who she is because it's kind of like, I guess it's kind of like the Hunger Games, but not. Whereas like everyone 
uses it for entertainment I guess like they just watch it because it seems like a show like a game to them where the trials for the people that are actually in it the contest is like to prove themselves I don't actually know what these trials consist of because I've we've just got into it um but so far I'm really enjoying it and I'm really liking it and I'm gonna shut up and stop talking and actually like carry on starting the timer I'm hopefully gonna read for like five five hours my god we might just be having a long ass night and an early ass morning whose fault would that be mine obviously I have no one else to blame but myself my time coordination is not going well currently but anyway we're starting this timer there we go it is oh it's not off there we go it is going off and we're gonna start carry on this book which is so good so far but let's just roll with it let's just go with it No criticism from him. None. <laughs> Why did you have to say that? Why? Why? Why does someone have to do this to me? <sighs> oh. I don't know how to like react to it. No, I know how to react, but. Can I just have someone like him? Maybe not like with his job, but just with like his spirit, like his personality, like his, just everything apart from the job. I want it. And it's deeply upsetting that it's unlikely going to happen, but I'm obsessed. I love it. <sighs> oh my God. This is just the first trial. This is just the first one. There's so many more to come. This is so good. This is so... I was not prepared for this at all. I was so scared coming into this book. I'm still a little bit scared, but the first like 200 and pages and so, like this, amazing, amazing. Like uh, what's gonna happen in the rest of the, I, I don't, if it finished now, I would be a little bit upset because I wouldn't, that would have been long enough. But like, I already think this is gonna be five stars. Like I just, it just is. Anyway, let's carry on reading. Cause more is happening. <laughs> Oh my god! day as you can tell I haven't changed again but it is the next day and this book is so 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 good I actually didn't think it would be this good or I would enjoy it this much I was very skeptical about it all I'm on page 384 and I have let me have a look four hours left we've just hit the 20 hour mark i'm so glad i caught up on my time so yesterday i probably read for about i don't even know like five five hours did i caught catch up on my time i believe i did i don't i honestly i can't really remember all i know is i've already read for like two hours two hours today yeah, I've read for two hours a day, so I've hit the 20 mark literally just now. And I swear we're going to finish this book, like, very quickly. Like, very quickly. I think in the next two or so hours, this book is going to be done and completed. And I'm kind of scared. 
Yes, I'm so slightly scared because I'm just like, I'm skeptical about a few things and I'm also like kind of don't want it to end but like the second book's gonna come out in, is it, it's either June or July because it says in the back of the book that the next one's supposed to be coming out like May. Obviously it hasn't, it's coming out a little bit later but yeah I'm just a little bit worried about the ending like I just don't have a good feeling. Like I know something's gonna happen and I also have a feeling it's gonna leave on a cliffhanger that will then lead into like the main plot of the next book. I don't know. I mean I have my theories of things but yeah I've just got a bad feeling. But I love Payden and I love Kai Malakai, that's the name I found out. I just love them together. Even like Kit. I'm kind of like in my head with Kit because there's currently like this love triangle going on at the moment but also not because it's like both these brothers are pining for her but she's really only properly pining for one of them but then kind of Loki using the other one. I don't really know how to explain it but yeah. But Kit is just, he's just too nice. He's just too good. Like I have a feeling he's gonna snap. Like something's gonna happen and he's gonna snap. I don't know because this book can like ugh, it can I can see it going two ways and it can be such a good happy ending to the story. But then obviously, but then then there's the not one. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna literally sit here now and probably finish off the last four hours. I will most likely start another book, whether or not that's going to be on my Kindle or something else, I don't know. I kind of wanted to start reading One Dark Window, but I think I'm going to leave that for another video, actually, where I can properly read it. I'm not quite sure. But, yeah, I'm kind of scared. Let's just, let's just start going, let's start reading. Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. And we're, we're off. Let's just finish this book. I kind of don't want to. Oh, I love it so much. I love it so, like, I love Kai. He's my favorite character. <sighs> anyway. I don't really know how to feed them. Well, I finished it. <laughs> well, this is great. This is like so great. There we go. That's the time. So I've still got like an hour and a half to go. But I just don't know how I'm going to pick up another book after finishing this. Let's just say this book 
did not disappoint. I loved every single second of it. I'm literally gonna give it a five stars because it doesn't deserve anything else. I loved everything about it. I'm actually, I obviously knew the ending was gonna kind of go how the ending went. I knew it. I had that feeling that something like that was gonna happen. Not everything though. I mean, there were still surprises, but I really wanna read the next one. I also like have no idea what's gonna happen next. I just don't know. Oh, these last like 50 pages, something, something else. Anyway, I, I loved it. It was great. It is definitely now one of my favourite books. I can, I'm, I'm really happy to say that. If you haven't read Powerless, oh my god, read it. Let's all join this. Oh, I'm, I'm actually glad that I read it now instead of earlier because this is, yeah, this was a good choice. A good, good, good choice. Oh my god. I'm so excited for the next book. I'm, I loved it. I loved it. Anyway, I need to figure out like what book I'm going to read next because I, I need to pick another book. We've still got an hour and a half, guys. <laughs> I don't know. I need some, I don't, I don't know what to read now. I'm even thinking something on my Kindle, like nice and friendly, but I don't want nice and friendly. I want the second one. I'm gonna take maybe a 10 minute or like an hour break and then come back to you with our final book. Okay, okay. I think I'm allowed to do that after reading whatever that was. I may have taken longer than um, an hour. I might have taken two, but <laughs> oh, I'm still not over this book. To the point where I don't actually wanna read another book. Like I'm like, no, I, no. But I have been looking on Kindle Unlimited. So I'm like, there is no book in my collection that is catching my eye. Like zero. I mean like none. So I've taken it upon myself to grab my Kindle and look. And I found one book. And I I I don't know about this book. I'm not quite sure. Because I've honestly never really heard it before. And if I have, then I've forgotten. But it's called Court of Winter and it's by Christina Street. Let me know if you've you've heard of that, but it came out last September and it's an enemies to lovers high faith fantasy and it sounds rather good. It's a sh it's a shorter fantasy. It's only 342 pages long, which is considerably short for a fantasy book. And I'm slightly intrigued. Like I haven't heard much about this book. It's kind of given me a little bit of Akatar vibes which I'm not mad about because it would be something familiar but also different. I haven't really heard of it. To be fair I'm not really on the social um, media so I don't really know what is popular honestly but I'm gonna kind of keep looking. I'm just waiting for something to jump out and that kind of jumped out. I don't know I'm gonna keep looking probably but I most likely will read this. Um, if I don't, then, well, you'll know, and I find something else, but if not, then we're gonna read this book. Okay, so, I've now got two books, now I'm just deciding in between, and that is, obviously, The Court of Winter by Christina Street, or Throttled by Laura Nasher, or Want Your Mind by Megan Bridges. Is it Megan? 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 Morgan? Morgan Bridges. So, we have a fantasy a romance or a dark romance. What are we feeling? Like what sort of vibe are we wanting to go for after Powerless? Any thoughts? Any I kind of need some input right now. I, I mean Throttled I've been wanting to read for like ages. Like I know I mean like ages. Oh I'm leaning towards Throttled. I think I'm actually going to read Throttled because I have been wanting to read this book for like so long now and I think it would just be a nice, a nice thing. It's saying it's going to take me about five hours to read. Obviously we're not going to finish this book in five hours but we have got, how long have we got? An hour and a half. So let's see how much I can read in an hour and a half. My god it's so late. It's like, it's midnight. And I have to be up early tomorrow. Guys, I don't know if I'm actually gonna like finish this tonight. I might just fin should I just should I just get up early tomorrow morning and just finish it off tomorrow morning? 
because I'm supposed to be in bed. I was like supposed to finish this video today and I haven't. Maybe I should have like read Powerless Last so I could have given myself a break. Maybe. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to start this, this book, this lovely book. Can't see it. Stop. Look at that. Not my face. This book tomorrow. Yes. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to bed. I'm so tired. Oh, or I could read The Night Hunt. No. No. Reading. Throttled. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. I don't really know. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. done it look at that we have completed our 24 hour challenge oh my god i'm so tired oh i read so many books i'm actually kind of proud of myself i ended up getting 27 percent through this book i'm on chapter 10 and i'm honestly enjoying it a lot i think it's quite good i mean i love formula one um and i think it's just a great sport gonna lie i really do enjoy it i mean reading this book it's really hard not to like compare it to the real thing and actually think about some things but i just need to remember it's fiction which is just that and just i'm just enjoying it so far i mean i don't think it's a slow burn especially from everything that's happening i'm not getting that sense so i'm a little bit worried about the ending and what's gonna happen but i'm also so intrigued as well but yeah so far love it I think we're about like 100 pages in, something like that. But loving it so far. Really, really good. Anyway, that is the end of the video. We ended up reading four books. I mean, we read The Daughter of the Pirate King, Where's Molly, Powerless, and now Throttled. And I think that's a good mix of books, actually. Those have all been like really anticipated books for me as well. So I'm so glad that I can say that I'm out of my slump. And I'm hopefully going to be back on the grime, doing everything and more videos to come. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did. I always love doing 24 hour videos. I don't know if I'll ever do a 24 hour straight video unless like I'm, I'm mentally prepared for it. But I'm very glad that we did this through breaks and over a couple of days. So just easing back into reading is definitely good but we still have a lot more books to catch up on I swear I'm still like six or seven books behind where I need to be for my goal but that's okay we're working towards it anyway I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one love you goodbye